Hello, my beautiful Leos. Hope you're all having a beautiful, beautiful day, beautiful week, beautiful time. This is Dr. Stefania. Welcome to my channel. This is your June monthly overview, arching, overarching energy check-in for my beautiful Leos. Um, I love my Leos. I have uh, three of my best girlfriends are all Leos. <laughs> Actually, four. Four of my best girlfriends are Leos. Um, so I love the Leo energy. Strong, beautiful, powerful, very kind and generous, especially when they're embodied uh, in their Empress energy. They're just amazing. The best girlfriends to have. So um, I'm very, very lucky. And I'm sending you all so much love to my beautiful Leos. You know who you are. Um, all right. So as I tune in here with the Leo energy, I actually feel, uh, first thing I'm getting is that you've got to watch out for relationship, family dynamic energy this month. Okay. Or yeah, the month of June, uh, watch out for the family dynamic energy. So, uh, now when I'm looking off, I'm actually just scrying because I'm seeing it in my mind's eye and I'm really getting, watch the fi family dynamic energy this month could be a little tricky, this tricky family dynamic energy. Okay. So, um, I always say if somebody's fallen down the rabbit hole, you, you don't need to jump into the hole with them. You can extend the hand and help them come out of that hole, right? And so that means when somebody's in a pissy mood and somebody's, you know, acting crazy, you don't have to be all crazy. You don't meet them with crazy. You meet them with, you know, the Empress energy, the Emperor energy, where you're just embodied with confidence, calm, collected, learning, knowing. So, it, so you, you lead by example, right? So I definitely feel there's going to be a bit of a family dynamic energy where you're going to have to look. There's the sun card. It came, the sun is the Leo card and the sun, it, it came out in, in reverse. So I feel like things are a little bit, there could be a little upside down energy, but I definitely feel it's re with relationships. This is, you know, typically the six of cups is like somebody from the past, but it's really soulmate energy, right? It's soulmate energy. So this could also be, you're going to take it how it resonates, someone from your past, someone from your past who you've been out of balance with coming back in. And look, there's the king of swords in reverse, but it's not gender specific. So somebody that's, you know, the communication could have been really off. So again, take that how it resonates, but this could also be a family card. Like look at the, like there's the guy with the dog, the kids. And I was just talking about the family dynamics, but it, the, for some of you, this could be a relationship from the past that's, that's been out of balance. I don't know where that music's coming from. Oh, the TV, the YouTube the sound frequency is on a commercial. That's what that was. <laughs> it's interesting that it came up just as I was saying now, the out of balance. Look, there's the Ace of Cups. So again, this could be for some of you, there's a Knight of Cups in reverse. So somebody who may have, you know, screwed up in the past might be wanting to make a comeback here, you know, into your life. Not that this is supposed to be a love reading, but I'm definitely picking up, look, there's the Emperor in reverse too. So some, a, a false emperor means things that were out of balance. Okay. And look, there's the three of cups. So again, you know, connections, collab like there's, this is all about family and friends, this energy, but I feel like this energy is out of balance here in June. So you really need to make sure, remember what I said, somebody's in the rabbit hole, you know, you're not jumping in, you can lend a helping hand so they can come out, but you don't need to go there. Okay. <laughs> That's what I feel with that energy. So pay very close attention here to the relationship dynamics. And I'm happy to report, this is a little different reading from, from the other readings I've been doing, which is nice. Um, so here's a 10 of cups. So you you, I feel like you're embodying as you embody this energy, which is balanced in the emotional body, strong in the emotional body. You then that energy spills over into, you know, the people around you. Okay. So a lot of family energy for the month of June. Let me just see for career here. Let's just see real quick, get a career message, message of prosperity, abundance career for you for 
the month of June. I keep wanting to say July, but we're definitely in June. So let's see for career. Look, there's strong strength Leo card communication. So you could be receiving some very clear and important communication in June regarding career. Let's see. There's the Page of Wands. That's news. Page of Wands always brings news. What kind of news is coming in here? Let's just see. News. Yeah, the, well, it's, it's, you know, news that you were, something that you were unclear about. There's about to be clarity. Okay. You've been maybe overthinking something uh, when it comes to, when it comes to uh, your career and finances. Let's do one more shuffle here. I'm going to switch decks. <laughs> for your June overarching energy, let's see if there's anything for your career prosperity and abundance. Act as if. Yeah, so this act as if is a car, is a message about the law of assumption, the law of attraction. So being in the energy of already having it, which is not always easy to do. You hear a lot of um, teachers talking about this, but for me, when I'm in the energy of self-nurture, when I'm in the energy of peace, when I'm in that energy of flow, which is the peace. So when I'm, you know, I mean, I practice meditation every day when I'm in the energy of positive self-talk and really embodying that, you signal the future with the energy of peace. You create that peace, right? So you're acting as if the so spirit's saying, "Okay, you are like act as if you already have what it is you're trying to manifest." Because things are going to move pretty quickly. So if you don't, you I, I, earlier that card of not being clear, the Five of Swords came up. Spirit has a plan. Spirit has a plan. So just hang tight things are about to unfold quickly for you. Okay. And I actually feel that's going to extend through July as well. So we'll see it comes up in July for you. But so that's what I have for you. I hope you'll have a beautiful, beautiful month and I'll speak to you soon. Namaste.